Oh, check it out, check it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a double track of red coffee snake. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, adventurers. Welcome to Belize. Look at this. This is a red coffee snake and the great way to start a night out here. Now, you can see it is all red. It's got some black markings on it if you look closely. Sometimes they even have yellow. And I want you to see the head if we can get, let me see if we can get the lighting good. Look at that. Oh, it's starting to smell. These guys musk a little bit. But look at that yellow on the head. You can see the little yellow outlines here. Now, this is a mimic of the venomous coral snake. But if you look here, at the tail, the tail is all red, and the coral snakes that this guy is mimicking have black tails. So they don't like to show their head very much. Their head is, of course, um, vulnerable, so they're trying to hide it. But let me see if I can get you to focus camera right there. You can see his beautiful face. This is a really good sign, because I have a feeling we're going to find a bit more out here tonight, and hopefully we'll have a lot to show you out here in Belize. So stay tuned, and let's see what else we find. Bye, buddy. See you later. I always like give them a little tail tap so they get, get a move on. So I just caught our second creature of the night. This is a little Asian house gecko. Now these guys, you can probably tell from the name, they're not native here, um, but they're pretty common, especially on urban structures, and they have a lot of variability to the look. So this guy is pretty transparent looking, very light in color, but we've seen some that are quite dark, um, and they have these lovely little barks that they make that we'll hear at dinner and stuff. So yeah, cool. You wanna say anything about this guy? They're just, they're cute and they eat the mosquitoes. So we like having them around. Yeah. Time for him to go back and uh, probably eat some of those ants that are there. Enjoy. Oh, check out this little frog right here. Now this is one that we've seen before a number of times on the channel. This is the common Mexican tree frog or the Mexican smilisca two common names that you might know it by. Now, if you look really closely, there's a little white area, a little light area right below the eye. That is one of our main field marks for these guys. Now, they are very variable in color. The ones that we've been seeing out here are brown like this, but in the past, we've seen them to be nice bright green and, and very, very pretty. Now, they get a bit bigger than this guy here, but uh, he is excellent and enjoying the pool. I'm sure we'll find a couple more of these tonight and who knows what else we'll see. Here's another guy. Oh, what'd you find? I think it's another Mexican Mylisca. Oh, nice. Yes, indeed. Tatiana just spotted this guy. Like she said, it is another Mexican Smilisca or Mexican common tree frog. It's actually right in the same area as the one that we saw hanging on uh, to the pool. That one was right down there. Nice, this seems to be a nice spot for them. All right, check it out. We have some sliders here. Now these are Mesoamerican sliders. It's a little hard to see the field marks with all of that algae that's growing on them. But this one under the water, you can barely make out some of the orange circles that it has on, on the shoots on the back there. Um, and that's how we know it's Mesoamerican and not a different species. So neat to see these guys sleeping. I think I actually had another one down there as well, but we got more to find, so let's stay on the hunt. These are obviously leafcutter ants, and they're really cool. And we always see them out here in the jungle. And what they do is they take a big leaf, they cut it up into little pieces, and then each one grabs a little piece and they carry it back to their hive. And so we'll see these really long strands of a bunch of leaf color ants in a row. So this, this one you can see extends all the way across the road here. It's pretty cool. So these little pathways that you see up here, these are from the termites. They make these so they say protected. And our guide here just grabbed one uh, to take a little bite, get a little protein. Let's see if I can try breaking away a section here. 
Maybe we'll see a couple. There we go. You can see what they look like there. And they're going to pop out for a second. And they're going to see what's going on. And then they'll start repairing the little pathways. And probably by the time we pass back through here, it'll be all sealed up. All right, we are at a beautiful cave again. And always at the entrance, you see all this really black ground. Well, this is all guano, bad guano. And in fact, we have some of the culprits right above us. There's one. Let's zoom in. This is a little insect eating bad. I don't know the species. Um, but right there, there we go. He and all of his buddies, there's one over here somewhere. There's another one. Produce all that guano there. But always out here, we seem to find these guys right at the entrance of the caves. It's pretty cool. Once we get farther in, they're really not there as much. Something else that's kind of unique about this cave is that it has a lot of human remains in it. And so if you look closely, you can see some bones there, a piece of a skull. There's a, there's a jaw uh, just below me. It's, it's pretty incredible. Um, the history that uh, that happened here with uh, with the Mayans. So here's one of the most interesting things that we found. This is a skull. And now the people who would have been sacrificed in this cave would have been noble. And so you can see that the head is flattened in the front. And they did that um, to just look a little different. And so that's one of the ways that you know that this is a noble sacrifice and not just somebody who stumbled in the cave and may have died okay this stuff kind of gives me nightmares you can see this is a spider on its own this doesn't give me nightmares but look at how big that back is now i thought for a second this is tarantula but if we zoom in close i haven't really seen it yet but i think we'll see it if we get in there look at that can you make it out that is just a ton of little baby spiders on the back there. It's kind of creepy. All right, I know we already looked at leaf cutter ants, but this is really cool. You can see that there are so many here that they've actually, and they've been walking this path for such a long time that they have their own little pathway through the grass. That is really cool to see. And they will probably be doing this work all night long, bringing all those leaves uh, to to their home. Okay, I know this video is about Belize, uh, but we did go over to Guatemala for a couple days and we found one special guest, and that is right here. Check it out. We have a sheep frog. This is awesome. And you can see it's got a very sort of narrow nose to it. This is a type of micro frog. It's very closely related to the narrowmouth toads uh, that you might be familiar with in the southeast. But uh, I didn't want to lose out on this footage from Guatemala, even though we didn't see a ton here. So I throw this guy in as a, as a special guest. But let's get back to some of the other things that we're finding out here in Belize. Well, this is quite an interesting sight. We are now on the coast of Belize, and it's you can see it's very sandy here we're in the mangrove forest and this is our first snake that we found out here it has a lovely glossy color to it too this is a black striped snake now i don't know much about these this is a lifer for me so it is very exciting to see this guy but he was just chilling on the side of the road here in the sand and i'm probably disturbing him from from hunting whatever he's going to hunt tonight but excellent to see this snake here this is always a nice sight at night. Uh, behind me, you can see it there on that leaf, is a sleeping lizard. Now, you probably already know, you probably already heard me say that, that the lizards, what they do is they find these leaves to sleep at at night, and that is how they stay away from predators on the ground. Um, and if a predator climbs up the tree or shakes the leaf, it gives them a little bit of extra warning to get away. This is a brown basilisk. They are known as the Jesus Christ lizards because they run really, really fast and they can run across water quite a big distance. So I wouldn't be surprised if this little guy, the little guys can, can do it better than the adults, could run across this entire, uh, this entire little creek here um, or this entire pond here in order uh, to escape a predator. Behind me in the trees here is a green iguana. And now these guys love areas like this. We are right above a little lake. They are great climbers. They're very arboreal and they love to be around water. And what they do is they'll 
take a nice nap in the heat of the day up there or, or really at night anytime they'll be over the water often and that way if a predator comes up the tree or something they have a really easy escape plan they just jump into the water they're good swimmers and they can swim away to safety so it's cool to see that guy up there hanging out with us this is nice we have a little pond here and it does look like some things might have trouble getting out of here but there was a frog over here that ended up hopping away but this guy down here is is staying for us to take a quick look it's a little hard to zoom in but check that out now if you take we'll zoom in a bit i can see this guy has really long toes it doesn't look like there's much webbing i think this is a sabinol frog because uh, they do like living in the mangrove forest out here all right in my hand here i caught one of these sabinol frogs now they've been really jumpy so i'm a little worried about having him open up uh having my hand open up for you to see him let's just do it just a little bit there we go look at that and if you can make it out whoa there we go all right so you can see there we go you can see how long those toes are and that's something that all the frogs in this genus have those really long toes they're not really webbed so kind of neat well he's definitely jumpy not super comfortable so we're gonna let him go back right away just wanted to give you a close little look at him um, to see some of those features all right, we put him right back on the edge here of this little pond. There's another one in here somewhere, I think. Tatiana spotted it before she left, but we're gonna leave him be. He is in a good spot now. Bye, frog. All right, so behind me, you can't really see it, but you can see there's some water there. Behind me is a Morlets crocodile. Now they have two species out here, the Morlets and the American crocodiles. In general, the American Croc crocodiles prefer the salt water, the marlets, the fresh water. This area is brackish. You could get both, but it's mainly marlets in this area. They're a little skittish, at least at the moment. So I'm kind of filming far back, but let's come in, take a closer look, just so we can all see it. This is a lifer for me too, so I don't know exactly what to expect. I just don't want to scare it before we document it. Look at that. That is beautiful. There we go, even better. Nice. This is only about three feet long. That includes the tail there, so not big at all. But I'm excited. I've been searching for these guys all night and finally had one. I had some eye shine of what I thought was the second one. So very cool. Look at how pointy those that snout is compared to alligators that we normally see which have much more rounded snouts it's very cool one more crocodile there you can see it they're always so skittish so you have to little pro tip keep the light on them once the light goes away they definitely disappear well that one didn't help but one more croc oh look at that now we don't talk about birds too much when we're out looking for reptiles and amphibians but here is one sleeping so i couldn't pass on this this is a magnolia warbler you can tell from that nice yellow chest and those white flanks uh, we saw a lot of these this morning and during the day so i know that's what it is normally you'd look for some black streaking on the side but i think it's obscured but he is just trying to get a good night's rest staying away from predators so we're going to leave him be and uh hopefully he'll he'll wake up in the morning well rested well, <laughs> we've had a great adventure. It's time to head back. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.